now now second pato Felix ndo cha fecho kubiri in his presence praise the lord yesterday i tried just much by the grace of god to explain what pray nageza konyo june fwa nyoku okulaga okusaba chechi praise the lord amen and i gave you the experiences of luke 18 one which show of a woman who goes to the judge and she asks that her case be judged The scriptures say that she prayed. That her, 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 her case be judged. And the judge got tired and judged her. But we learn by scripture that our God is not that kind of God. The Bible says that this judge was not a respecter of God neither did he have any regard for man. That very many people have falsely told. That that's how you must pray to God. That's why I read for you the following verses. The verses say that if the son of god comes will he find faith on the earth because if he finds faith on the earth the man will not have to repeat prayers over and over when you pray you know it's done so you pray another thing you don't keep on praying for the same thing that's why in Matthew he said do not be like the hypocrites Chapter 6 let's begin with that Matthew so chapter 6 from about the 7th verse bakunyire ngolo musamba He says but when you pray use not vain repetition as the heathen do for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking give me the message version He says the world is full of so called prayer warriors who are prayer ignorant they're full of formulas and programs and advice peddling techniques for getting what you want from God You understand this is not meant to insult you it is meant to show you that, that there are a lot of people who pray the wrong way and it doesn't matter how much you explain to them they will not hear even if you show them the scripture they will still refuse but you keep on preaching you understand Why? there is a difference between a man praying in the spirit and vainly repeating You remember that, that widow who, who repeats her needs to the judge over and over? The Bible says that judge did not have regard for God no man. So because he did not have regard for God no man, he did not know that God reward and answers his people speedily. So the scriptures say. And there are a lot of people who don't have answers and they are told pray until something happens. But for some of you who have prayed for long, you realize you're afraid and fail to still get results and you're still praying. When you don't get results you must understand you're praying the wrong way. That is why yesterday I told people. If you want to know a man who prays. Look at his results. Are you hearing me? Why? Because the Bible says they shall know them by their fruits. You can fake prayer. You can fake the action of being a very prayerful person. But you can never fake results. You can never fake answers. 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 They are blessed or blessed. They are either increasing or increasing. There is no middle area. Praise the Lord Jesus. We are raising a ministry that is result oriented. We must have results. We must have results. Tell him we must have results. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I explained when the Bible says men ought to always pray. Nenyona Bible yache gama abantu batekedwa ngo kusaba. Ekakeo, the Greek word there. Chigambo oh, chekakeo. The word not faint is there. Explaining that a man should not pray without the spirit. Omuntu atekedwa kusaba atali moyo obebwe lwomo. And I explained to you that the Greek word there for always not actually every time. Ekigambo chekeza ntibyo chekeza ntibuli sawa. It's impossible to pray every time. It's so like a sabbath Even your Lord Jesus did not pray every time. Nemukama yesterday asaba ngabuli sawa. You understand? Let's take it. 
at a particular point he was he was he was awaiting at a wedding ndomo yali koko kumbaga he understand he prayed all the time but not every time yesaba ngisawa yona ne ate sibuli kisera you understand the difference that's why i explained that now the hebrew word there for always pantote is everywhere ichigabo pantote chitegeza buli di don't pray because you want to pray josaba kubango yagala kusaba just that so that you show people that you can pray oyokola ga abantu nti oli musabi but pray because you're led by the spirit of god to pray nesaba kubango lunga mizibo moyo wakatondo kusaba that's why i gave you examples of matthew 26 of men who have master the art of praying in public so men will see them pray praise the lord and they make longer prayer but so the scripture says they pretendly make longer prayer mungeri yokwekoza bawambuye sala zabwe such that people can know that they are prayer ntabantu bategente omuntu oyo musabi you understand ochitegera and their reward is there ila ne mpira yabwe eliyao so you know why they don't have results because their rewards are Tebaina bibo la kubanga empera yabo babera bajifunita. Then I read for you a portion of scripture. Nema somere chandikwa. That speaks of when you pray. Let's go now back then. Chigama tuwo sababu ya. Chapter 5 sorry. Chapter 6 sorry. Hallelujah. Aha. Uh-huh. He says but when thou prayest, sababu. Enter into thy enclosure. Yingira mutsengecho. And when thou hast shut thy door. Irango gadde olujiro. Pray to thy father saberi chitao which is in secret ali muchama your father is not in open chitao tali muruatu is in secret ali muchama are you hearing me pray to your father which is in secret ali chitao ali muchama and thy father which seeth in secret ni chitao ya labda muchama shall reward thee openly anaksa sura no murujido ba muruatu so you understand what i mean rateke da chingama if a man has a secret prayer life mundu babanga ino bulambo bo kusabanga bo achama he will have open result ebala bebeja kwa bya alwatu ngabira bika If a man has open prayer life. Mtu wabanga ino bulamu nga bobu la bika bulomwa bulabo bokusa. You will not have result. Sajja kubana bibala. Oh you need to go in secret to find his result. Oboja kusoko genda temu cha mononye ebibala abi. Ama make sense? Kola makuru. When you pray, bosaba. The Bible says enter into your closet. Bible ga yingira mu josabira. And when thou hast sat thine door, bomalo kugala oluji. Pray to thy father, saberi chita which is in heaven. Oh ya ali. I wanted to underline something before I go into what I needed to. Nega do kubako chende ka kesira nga sina kana ma. Second he says but when thou prays, ntibo saba. Enter into thine closet. Yingira e josabira mutsinge. Underline the word thy. Take a wo. And when thou has shut thy door, era bomalo kugala oluji. Say to thy father saberi chita wo which is in secret o ya ali muchama are you hearing me and put it up and he that is in secret o ya ali muchama shall see it sorry see it in secret o ya laba muchama he shall reward the open and access to the number of you are you hearing me and put it up are you hearing me and put it up but then before that he had i think spoken about folk who i mean four after i think he says next seven seventh line or of some seven Uh-huh. But when you pray use not vain blah 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 next line Be not either for like unto them tembera ngabali for your father not need of for before you ask Vashta mu abanyi bemba mwetanga tena na bisa Spoke of men who know how to pray so openly Oyoge akubantu abasa abamanyo kusaba mu watu babalabe Right And the Bible says they uh, they pray in the synagogues and on the streets and in the corners Basabira munso nda kumakunga nilo ne kungudo You understand until their voices lose lose even color because they need to show people that they are what Kisanga mwana bozika begata ntino doctor ulika kwa baga kula ga bantu But if you go down to these people Nebo bogobera bantu bano You understand the Bible says already God knows what they are talking about Kisanga mwana nche bogira ko abashi tegeredda So why are they praying Katwachi basaba repetitively ngabadingana That's one thing but number two ne chokubiri why are they seeking that men see them lwachi banonya abantu okubalaba why do you seek that a man should know your personal relationship with god lwachi yagalo muntu amanye gukologana ngwenga gwene katonda your personal relationship with god doesn't bless a man enkolagana yo gwengo omuntu ne katonda o tewa muntu ena mukisa the ministry of god through you blesses a man obweza bwa katonda okuita mugwe bobu omuntu omukisa ama mekisa kola makuru we Personal is personal it is you and God it edifies you omuntu ku muntu kizimba gwe the bible says that he that prays in tongues edifies himself you don't build me by praying tongues to zimba nze bo sala munimi you build yourself we zimba weka you build yourself we zimba weka you build yourself we zimba weka not me 
sinze. Not anybody else. When I pray in tongues, I build myself. I don't build you. So the most important thing here is not to be selfish. And having a controlling spirit of a man. To determine how they ought to pray. No. The Father which sees you in secret. Will reward you openly. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now let's go a bit deep. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. John 7. You can't show you a mystery. 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 Six to make a secret prayer. And six to show openly everybody. Six to be known open. Many young people used to say, ah, these guys don't pray. Doctors have said, ah, what's the great self is not pray. I met a certain man this week, he was telling me. Is it great self not to pray? No, I told him, for so long the Church of Christ has preached me. That Christians only know how to pray what the Father already knows that they need. You are find a regular Christian. Ask them what is your prayer. Then you are going to pray for cars, DVD, microphones. You understand? Eh? They are praying for, 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 for things that, that are already given. They seek up for the things that Paul is persuaded to accompany salvation. But many people don't know any more what to seek in God. Many of them, if you listen to them praying, they are very selfish people. God, my ministry. I'll give you an example. If you're a person who prays, for example, when was the last time you prayed for another ministry? If you're not self. When was the last time you prayed for your enemy? When was the last time you prayed for your friend? When was the last time you prayed for the ministers of the gospel? When was the last time you prayed for your nation? Many people spend countless hours selfishly seeking God. Many are not driven by divine purpose and personal person. And they don't know the difference when they go in the presence of God. As I told people, you can never criticize the person you pray for. You can never write or preach or speak about a man you pray for. If you pray for them, you can. Why? Because love. Love covers the mouth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, the guy says there is no man that does anything in secret. And he himself to be known openly. Meaning if your prayer began secretly, you cannot seek that people see you openly at one I've seen men walk with rewards with them. That God can never go above their prayer. Why? Because when they pray, they must prove to the world they pray. They must show that they pray. They, 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 if at least his voice will die, I mean, but there are five people say, I never take Christmas. I was at the mountain. I pray. I went to spend the whole week. I said, we can pray first. Now, when you grow into that knowledge, you can never say that nonsense. That's why I told you, nobody here has had me speak of my private interpretations with Almighty God. Because I seem to do it personally. I've driven to places and prayed alone. I have spent I've woken up at any time in night and prayed. But I don't, I don't show that fact that people look at it as a standard. Because you kill the picture of Christ. Salvation is a relationship between a person and God. I don't relate to God for you. 
and neither am I supposed to draw the lines of your relationship my ministry is to correct, instruct, rebuke do all these kinds of things by the grace of God now it's up to your spirit to yield to the levels and degrees of how much you need God so people for example when we were beginning they used to not come and then you follow up the people for example, 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 don't come and ask me why don't you come I follow up I follow up and when I get to the point when I realize that not that I've received but when I get to the point when I realize that somebody is doing this in the knowledge that they are doing it. Or that they don't see where you see. Those ones, you, you, you look for another one who will see where you are. Yeah, so the others that I still follow up on because I, I must. And those ones I don't follow up on anymore. They pray wonderfully. They don't. I just have to bless and love them and wait for them. You understand? In this work of salvation, it's when you actually realize who is mature and who is. When we were growing up, we used to think the most prayerful people are the most mature. The most fasting are the most mature. When a man does one thing, and it spoils everything. And you're like, eh? Facebook! Look at that, eh? Wait. So, so call it. Hmm? You understand? Praise the Lord. I mean. So in the essence of the love of God to cover multitude and not judgment. You're doing what God called you to do. You stay preaching. You stay doing what? Preaching. Stay singing. Stay praying. Stay cutting your video. Praise the Lord. I mean. Do you mind your own business? God will bring us. He already does. Hallelujah. Now, when, if a man understands this, you will realize that we will never seek to openly demonstrate our secret life. No, we will only seek to demonstrate the life of Christ. Now, when a man understands this, he will realize that we will never seek to openly demonstrate our secret life. You understand? That's right now, I go back to that spirit I was trying to tell you yesterday. Let me go a bit deeper in it. There are two realms of ministry for every Christian. There is a realm of, of worldliness. If thou do these things, I show thyself to the world. There is a spirit of worldliness. It's called the spirit of worldliness. You understand? You remember when Paul says, Demas has forsaken me for the love of the world? It doesn't necessarily mean that Demas failed. No. He left him for the love of the world. Paul didn't say Demas fell. He just said, He left me for the love of the world. Now let me explain something about the love of the world. The love of the world has placed about three realms of function. One is the realm of competition. When a man is praying in that realm, he will pray as one better than another. He will pray to prove the others don't pray. That man will seek competition in something that ought to be a personal vindication with Almighty God. That is the spirit of the world. You compete in your exams. You compete in prayer. You compete in the piano. You compete in worship. You compete in everything. Even preaching when one is off and another one comes on, you will compete. Because your issue is beating another man. You understand, brother? Not necessarily delivering what Christ has placed in the inside of you. Praise the Lord. Number two, that spirit seeks praise. Why? 
Because that's where their reward is in. Kubanga we wali empera yabwe. Paul says if I'm in my mind it's for your sake. If I'm out of my mind it's for the sake of the Lord. Kubanga we wali empera yabwe. That spirit will never be satisfied until you 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 praise what it has done. You praise what it has done. Ogomo yote kujia kumatiro kusango opoze. When that spirit is in a man. Kasomo yoko kubela monto. And 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 you're talking and you want to appreciate people. Ngo ya oyo gedewa gaya kusima wa anto. And you don't appreciate it. No ta musima. You understand? He will feel like dying. He wants you to remember he bought you a shoe. Uh, but you, 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 you appreciated somebody who gave you 10,000. Me, I bought you a shoe. Oh, One time I was ministering with a, with a certain church and a woman came up to a week. That day they were doing a Thanksgiving service. Huh? And when when they were doing so, they were thanking people. So the pastor kept, kept on calling people laying hands. Kept on calling people laying hands. And then she laid hands on a lot of people. Even some people wanted to send her money. Sent her money. You know, there was also something funny there, but we 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 swallowed. We laid hands. After service, the lady came and asked me. I gave two hundred dollars. They called everyone. He didn't call me. The Bible said. Then Moboza, did you give to man of God? Wa wa mu unto abakatonda. She told me I get God through the man. Na wakatonda kuita mu unto. Esther. Then Moboza. So what's your point? Then she told me. Then she told me. Then Ngamba. What's your point? Then she told me. Then Ngamba. That. Why? There are people who gave little money, but me, I gave two hundred dollars. Do you remember the two hundred dollars I picked? Kau jika dolar lebih dari zaman awal? Eh, sihat dan akan terbang. Yang mana zaman? Kau jika dolar lebih dari zaman cima? Nanti tuan saya boleh ambil ambil. Tapi dia tidak. Nanti? Appreciate me. Tebang sih ni. That kind of spirit seeks appreciation. Mau beri kita guna nyaku sih ni buah. That one when it comes in a meeting, it will want to sit in front. Oyo wajamalu kunga na baya gara tule kumwanjo. Why? Because he is a man of God. You understand? There are a lot of men of God seated in the back there. Walau saja waktu nda batu dema begi obang. But if, if they had that spirit, they would be already here. Why? Because they are anointed. But you cannot say that. The Men on your side. Come on, come on. Sit 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 the people they are looking for are going to come back and take it later. The new seats are there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three. That spirit seeks accountability to men, not God. That is why it will speak everything it does in Peter. And it will speak to men. You understand? Amen. Have you been around people who say, who have this kind of conversation? Who have this kind of conversation? If it's prayer, I pray. If it's prayer, I pray. This is one so. The one who prayed for them. Mula bagundi or Jesus Santo, Jesus Namuya. I help them. Kavito Murengera. Now I don't blame them. Yari bubi. The person you see. So Rangio Mula ba. Is this Rangio? Oh Yari wano kuruwan. He was here because. The man who did that thing. If I take off my hand, he can never stand again. You understand, Randy? Tell me. Take that thing. Is that who gamba na? Mula bagundi or we have the Kanisa Jo. This is how that person left church yesterday. After that. After that. Is that Madam Afsa? I'm the one who gave him fuel. That's the name of. He had no fuel. Oh, you can even seem to be a bit nice. Oh, you can even seem to be a bit nice. Oh, you can even seem to be a bit nice. Oh, you can even seem to be a bit nice. Oh, you can even seem to be a bit nice. Oh, you can even seem to be a bit nice. Oh, you can even seem to be a bit nice. You and Grace and God. So can I play the piano? So can't go and nanga with me. I see. Some people come in quiet. Some come and stay. 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 You, you, they have their own life. You have yours. Now you know, you know Bobo. Me, I'm getting tired, but some people are, are not giving us. We think they. No, no. 
you sing you yimba you who can you sing we as the yimba over the other ones come or you don't have enough 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 it's okay you you sing i know why you want to say amen manyiro acha amina zake kwa kakati praise the lord hallelujah amen hallelujah amen If the people are not praying you you pray but we want to have a prayer sabah and that's the pray don't seek to be known openly as a prayer we want to have a prayer sabah we want to have a prayer sabah we want to have a wait for the results they will see them lean down to the people they will see results but you have to have a prayer sabah Do you understand what I'm trying to tell? Take that change that kugamba. They will see results. But yakula baby bala. You wait for people to see results. Linda abantu bala baby bala. Let God work in you. Let God do this thing in you. Let God do this thing in you. Let them surprise them. Let them even let them even testify about you before you even think of testifying. Ba kweko na obujuzi ngabo tuna na kuloza kwa na kuwa yobujuzi. Because the spirit of the world seeks that. And as long as you live in that pattern, you will always seek to please men. And your satisfaction will be in what men know you do. Ero kukuta kono kumata kujja kubera mukumanya okumanya abantu mbuno byokola. And it's in every area of your life. Era kiri mu buli nsonga yobulambo. Give it. Why? Don't give up. To ayo mulwacho. Don't show so much that you give. Tolaga nyo mune mbugoli au ndi muntu mugabya owayo nyo. I don't know whether you know those kinds of people. Sonyo manya chikacha bantu weba. You understand if if he wants for example to bless Baba ya gara. Aje zile to labe nti akuade na balala bona ba manya nti akoze echi. Kwa che bidi na. Come on. You're not giving. Come on. Come on. You giving God. O wakatonda. Yo God sees in katonda walaba muchama even when you hide it like how ne bo you support ya laba laba this ministry is to see in secret obwereza we wakulaba muchama come on again sir kola makolo you don't need to go preaching and tell everyone no, it's, it's okay. you. i'm not talking about that and the you account to us and it's wonderful and i want to see what you do abamba limo bali bakula fe na kino jana ne it's a real thing place ne Baba demo chintu mwe. Eh we were in the thing. Tu aba koze. You know. Hey, no. We bless. This is not you. Ono sikwe. This is God working in you. Yakatonda akola mukwe. To will and to do. Okwagala wa munna akola. Going to his good place. Okusinza kusanka kwa kulonji. Praise the Lord Jesus Amina, Christ. Amina, Amina. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amina. Don't do things so men will praise you. Tukola bintu bantu kutendereza na kuwa. Do things so the almighty God will openly approve you. Kole bintu katonda mugwa tokaka sanchi temu. Do things for men to see you. Tukola bintu bantu bakulabe. Do things for the heavenly father to approve you. Kole bintu katonda wo muguru yakaka sako atekeze. Go above yourself and beyond your line to prove everybody true. Te sukuru mawo inteke bako makola bantu ji wo kula na everybody. Totola bikanga singa bonna. Experience has thought you will never be. Omanyi de bulu You, you, if you sit up a donkey someone will criticize you if you sit on a donkey someone will criticize you if you push a donkey you understand if, 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 if you have a donkey and, 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 and I saw this on a male a man a man a man a man had a donkey are you hearing me? he put a, a wife on the donkey are you hearing me? and then people pass and say look at that man the wife is on the donkey look at that man Why both of them sit on the door? Then another day they sit on the door. Then another one says, hey, look at that man. They are breaking the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Look at that man. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. Then another day they both get off the door. You're going to be criticized for everything you do. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you stand up skin they'll put you down. If you Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, there's never going to be a kind of you. 
Take another one, Mutmula. That one is sweet in your hair. It is such a mutual. There will never be a kind like you. Take another Mutmula. I am in God's way. So don't speak to match men's standards. You are already standard by God. Don't know any point. Can I can't even judge man to God. You are above perfect. Standard with God. Any body that comes to you and says, "I am not good enough," I am not saying we should not give a place for healthy compromise, right? Second, no to watch for There is a healthy one. I was sharing with someone this week. Okay, when you find an old woman. She's not smart and she has a new dress. You don't say, Jaja, you're new here. Jaja, you're not smart. Okay, Jaja, you're new here. You say, Jaja, you're smart. You get, you're new here. You say, me, Jaja. You're smart. And some people are so cold. Now, I'm going to go back. Jaja, you're new here. Jaja, you're not smart. You're smart, but you put on your new dress, but you're not smart. No. Look at them. Look at them. You tell her you're smart. Because she has put in a lot to want to look good. Kumanga ata demo mani mani na bini nyoka kwa 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 Saluna does her hair for like. Again, I'm saluna in Then she comes with this hair. Naja nechi vidi. Yes, like. Na imirira. I didn't know so commenting. Waiting for your comment. Can you look at me too? I can share. Ask what's that? Okay, for men, I've seen married men. Never said you have a form. Is there any woman who asks her husband whether she's fat and that she wants the guy to say yes? Walom chala ngamunene aga umamu kabi. Am I fat? They could kill you. Women, my name is Mumpole. They say what? Women. Am I speaking sense? Come on, somebody. Eh. If it doesn't mean you say she's fat, at least if you did with too much, come on. Sorry, baby. You're not bad, Leo. At least you. She's going to the gym every day. And then you notice she's adding more weight. Be a woman has spent two months in the gym. Am I fat? Now come with that. 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 Am I fat? Truth. You tell her at least you're improving. I Mugambe. Speak of the things that are not as though they were. God is like that. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to show you a secret about Jesus. Matthew 13 35. Am I fat? Let's begin with 34. And all these things, are you hearing me? Spread Jesus unto the, the multitude. And without a parable, spoke not unto them. Why did Jesus speak in parable? Ask your neighbor, why did Jesus speak in parable? Next line. That it might be fulfilled. Now, when you see fulfilled, it means it was prophesied that the man would speak in parables. Because Jesus in parables was a prophesied event. Okay. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, "I will open my mouth in parables. I will let the things which have been kept." Secret from the foundation of the world. Meaning, parables were not a mind thing. Meaning, parables were not a mind thing. They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They were secretly spiritual things. Why did Jesus speak in parables? They
Now a man could not have lived and done that kind of thing. If he did not have a secret life of sin. No man can preach revelation without knowing a secret place in God. No, no man. man. No man. Can preach revelation. I'm not talking of preachers who recycle servants. So get a couple of banana, but ding an engine, I get on a jacob on a boy. Understand it? All speak the same thing. Are you getting into the baby? I'm talking of uh, some of you have seen men who are constant. They are constant. Some people have failed to understand this. There is just no way a man can just be constant. It just doesn't happen. If you will try. You, you, you preach a different message every day for one week. Then preach a second week and one man. Then you'll appreciate people who preach for one year. Do you understand what I'm trying to There is a place in God where men learn from God. There is a place in God where men adopt from God. There is a place in God where men mutate in God. They, they, but you see who I'm they, but you see who I'm there is a place in God. That place can never be met in just meditation. It's a place of prayer. Now, some of you have been reading all these years of he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall find blah blah blah. blah, blah. Now, you must realize that by nature and state, Christ, God himself, is a secret God. But he is an open manifestor. But he is an open manifestor. God is so himself secret. But very often in manifestation. The experiences that explain the manifestation. They have and will always be secret place. It will never be open place. When a man seeks the open place, that man is not seeking after God. When Paul sees things that he's not allowed to utter, it doesn't mean that he doesn't want to utter them. It only means he also receives them by me. Now you can see that he means he also received them by me. He could not have gotten them. Just like simple words. You understand? There are certain things that just drop in a man's spirit. Are you hearing me? Mm. Now why did I call this message in his presence? Praise the Lord. Amen. Now just be attentive in these few minutes. Be attentive like never before in these few minutes. I need, I need to show you something. Now, a person says something in chapter 6 verse 13. Let's read from 13 to 18. I just wanted to read something for you before I actually go deep and preach the picture. He says, wherefore, now he's talking about the armor of God. Right? Take you up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Now meaning, there is an evil day for every child of God. You will not allow it, but that's the truth. There will be an evil day for every child of God. This, there will be a day you will hear results that I'm evil. There will be a day when a doctor reads things probably that are evil. There will be a day when you interfere evil. But let me tell you something about this thing. God does not intend to give the affairs of a man to stand in the evil day. More than it is to prepare the man that he might anticipate and know how to deal with an evil day before it comes. Virginia Grace has taught me that more than just God helping you when you're in a problem, he seeks to work in you to prepare you that if the problem should come, you're bigger than it. That you can avert it. That you can avoid it. There are many Christians who don't discern those times? 
When evil days come, they sweep them off their feet and they never come back again. They are standing now, but tomorrow they will never come back again. One thing like this that is happening on Thursday and she doesn't know. The only difference between you and men who have walked in this secret life is realize they knew the Thursday before it came. And I'll teach you that bit, if I go into something a bit there is a grace that God has prevenient. You see, wherefore, take unto your whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand. This is a man preparing before the evil day. This is not a man learning to fight in the evil day. God can prepare you to receive any news. And you walk out with a testimony. No fullman no bujuri. Without scratch. There is a grace in God. That has taught me to know everything that happens before it happens. Before it happens, I know it. But I've had the wisdom to know how to keep quiet. Alright, I'm done. Or just wait for them. There are days that come and you know. There are days that will come and you know. They're going to be so tough. But when a man is prepared for those things, he knows how to avert himself from danger. God teach you how to live that life in the name of Jesus Christ. I say God teach you how to live that life. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a life in God that can prepare a man's spirit up for adversity. That if it should come, it has no effect or consequence on you. That you can know when cancer has to come and you cut cancer before it enters. But should it enter your body? It must come with a preaching that it won't kill you. It must come with that understanding. That you don't have enough faith to kick it out. It won't kill you. That is if your faith is in that realm. But if your faith is in the realm of adverting it, how many, I'll, I'll, I'll give an example. And I want to prove it. How many people you have seen or imagined things they, they came like imagination. And that's a few minutes they happen. Put up your hands straight. I understand. You see all those hands. Meaning that prevenient grace has been availed to you to sense those things. And, and as a man who practices by the Spirit, he grows in this knowledge every other day. But if somebody should abuse you, you already know they are coming. Just come ready to love them. So they come with all these kinds of things. One time they, they sent a guy from Upperstone, I mean from, from CU to come and stop me from preaching in Upperstone. One night. Now you guys are just now, but I know not told people. people. Because those are things, again, I told you, I just keep. So they sent the guy, they prepared him, they told him, they let him catch the fire. They told him, meet Greg Stelium as the organization and blah, blah, blah. We don't want him anymore in this university. I tell him, you tell him. The Spirit of God told me he was coming. I hear him. Ask God, what should I do? So to the moment you see this guy, hug him until his ribs hurt. I finished cut the fire. Came out in Upperstone, came meeting. This guy came. I said, How have you been? I said, What do you do? I said, He told me, so Pastor Nangamba, I have been where? Well. I said, how come we missed you today? I was coming. Okay, <laughs> okay, I don't know where are you going? Okay, now. Um, uh, okay. I just came to say hello. <laughs> 
told him, thank you. I look forward to seeing you again. He went back. <laughs> Let somebody in the committee came and told me, I don't know what you have, but we can't we test you. We couldn't test you. We couldn't test so and so to what come back. Over what did you do to him? He couldn't test the man. He couldn't just test the man. He could not open his mouth, he, even if it's not a car, no. Love just who is the guy. Are you hearing? Praise the Lord. Amen. But if he would have said it in his mouth, I would go. But he did, he couldn't. He, he, he couldn't. couldn't. He couldn't. He could not. He could not. One time Martin Luther was praying, I don't know if I told you that story, they sent men to kill him and gun him. Luther, so the men came with guns. They came on the door. And then they agree with the guy. He tells his friend, kick. 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 He tells his She refused me oh, Even the other one. Wait. Wait. Then they came back to the guys who sent them and told them what? Okay, they said we couldn't kill a man who that. that. Meaning there was something about the man's prayer. Because there was something about the guy's prayer. They could not kill him. But how many people are killed in prayer? They just shoot them and they die. I heard of this guy. Uh, he's the Nigerian guy. Nigeria. Um, oh, is it Tunde? Bakare. He was driving. And he was basking in the glory of God, praising and worshiping his his and himself himself for an evil day. And then thugs came. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Yes, driver, he came out. Now, Give me all the money. Give us everything you have. Tell the guy, you are too small and insignificant to shoot. He told him, I'm going to get back in my car. I better find you at police. He found the guy at police. He said, you are too insignificant to shoot me. Too small to shoot me. He found the guy that he has already reported himself with a gun. I had a gun. I wanted to shoot a man. He told me he's going to find me. 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 You. Your God can come with fire. He finds himself higher. You for another one. Listen, this, 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 listen, this thing so stings before you come in. Such that when you come in, you just bask in the glory of those experiences. And your life becomes a wonder. Everybody wants to be like you. 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 To anticipate and know what is coming, and then you fix it before it comes. Okuzura no tegele tiki no kujia no chigo njula ngati tina kutu kana kuba wo. And because I've spoken about it, it is going to work in you. Ne kuanga nchoke deko tiki na kula mukuru. I said it's going to work in you. Receive it. Say I take it. Ne tiki na kula gama chituara. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. If I can count how many times I've survived accidents, I cannot tell. But I knew every accident before it came. I knew every accident before it came. Since I knew this thing, it should have been about 20, 2010. I could never, sickness has never come on me, I don't know. Since 2010, it can't. It can't. It just, even sickness cannot come when I don't know. It can't. And I don't know. 
Ni, now, ni divine help is not necessarily not falling sick. Divine help is seeing and fixing before you fall. Wala mwa wakata na sikuwa kwa wangu no wana wala 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 When that kind of man realizes that life, even if HIV doesn't leave their body, they don't fall sick. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Now, he spoke of the armor. Let's go to the 18th. I want to make a, like a point there, a very important point. He says, okay, let's begin with 17. And take the helmet of salvation and sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Now, we're we'll finished putting it on, right? Next line. Pray in all ways. With all prayer. No kusaba kuna. And supplication. No kwegeida. In the spirit. And watching. Ngotuno. There unto. With all perseverance. No kunyikira kuna. And supplication. No kwegeida. Kulaba tukubwana. Did you hear that? I told you that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Ochuli decho. Pray in oray. Oksabanga bulijo. In the spirit. Momoyo. Now. Let me share this kind of thing. Kangabane chintu wachiti. I have read about God's general. Nsomye kuba nagwa no bakatonda. One time I made a statement that I want to explain. Ndobina yogere chingamo chinde galo kunyonyola. I learned a lot from every one of them. Nahiga vingi nyo kuba kuri omukubo. But there's something I learned from John Gillet. And I realized Lester Sumerall had the same thing. These men knew how to live a life that you'd think they don't pray. But they were very anointed. You understand the kind of life? You would think they don't pray. But they were very anointed men. Very anointed men. I learned the same from Smith Wigglesworth. I saw the pattern of how the man lived. You realize Smith never prayed every time. But it was so hard for an hour to pass before Smith prayed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, this is what I learned. During that time, I, I read about John Gillette. And I realized he was, he was a very busy, busy businessman. He, he had three businesses. God had, had John Gillette was gifted in business. He was a natural business. when it came to business. He, he business he his business life was natural. So many a time, He was a very busy guy. But if you read his stories and memoirs, you realize he was a very busy guy. Until later he went full time and left everything. But before he left, he still had crazy results. Crazy results. And one time he made a statement in one of his books. He says, I learned to be so in and consonant to the spirit yet so busy with them in the world and I asked God how could it be and the spirit told me because he knew how to have a secret life without necessarily legally affect the world performance but if you looked at the man's life intently he was a representation of a man rewarded by God open that many times he would sit on his PC and work and do business the whole day and get off his bed and men could not shake his hand in the stories of John Gilles you realize live along these things of Smanya don't fall you know how hard people are falling Gilles lived the life where it was not about men who purpose themselves not to fall. I mean, he would commune with the Holy Ghost while he was so busy talking with men that men would actually think he's talking with men. Because he knew how to respond to both worlds. It's a wisdom for a man to function in the outward world 
performing and dead registering while in the spirit performing and registering magezi omuntu kubanga kola munse bwero kubanga kola ne munse balance it is not balance balance is in the middle of both okwenkanya kachi sege tando wakati byo bi testimony ne mujizo wongo yobuli oli mu byo mbiriri that's why some of you when you study a lot for a long time pray some nyoto saba when you pray a lot you don't study a lot to come down you don't know how to live the other way and this kubanga manyo kubere ryo kino tabayo nyo highly in school na ite wa the most prayerful time i think i think there nyo kusabe nyo i used to sleep at 1 o'clock neba kanga samu samba gwe because we are preaching the gospel But when I got in class we are always one of the best. Ninga ngenda mu kibinanga mbiro mu kwana basinga nga basinga. Why? Because you must learn to live both like one take to open ambulance bombiri. Both result. I mean result. No bane balabyo mbiri byo nanga ate bya muyika bya makula. Some people have left school mu God as an mu God stock. Some people have left school ba meka bale kokusoma. Listen, all these guys pray. But you know that Jimmy was a lawyer. Jimmy ali mu namateka. People went to school. Bantu bali basoma. The Tunde Bakari is I'm telling you he's, he was a lawyer by profession. Tunde Bakari yali munna mateka gwemba bwo yakwa munna mateka. Means that you cannot do one thing and not be the other. No. God has to to give you the wisdom of knowing how to keep your secret. Muka mateka dokuwa magezo kumanya ko yeye chama. Open reward. Okulinda okwayo kwa somo lwatu. But that's what you must do in the world as you continue to do. Tunde ke doko sa chokola munsingo gena maso kwa chini chomo chomo chama. I learned that from Jile. Echi chana yiga kujile. He knew how to work and do business the whole day. Yele ama nyokola business zolo na kulona. But he so in communion with God. Abula nasiga nyoku ziba nyomo kuseje mune katonda. But the testimony of Ekakeo was every when the need was there to pray. Ito bujizi bo kubanga buli dilo na walwe chirago chokusaba. His experiences with the spiritual only took a man's spirit to prayer. Omanyiza bo moyo ko kumanya cholo kusaba. His soul and body were not involved. The spirit was in union with almighty god that tensonga bombiri gwe nememe get the big kanya olango moyo gwe guli wa mu mu ya ngo <laughs> You realize that many in their presence get even used to be here. Omanya nti abantu mukubera okwa be baona nga bonya bwe bwe. They would not apply your kind of mentee me prayer. Ngatote kawo kuno abantu bakulabe mukusaba mu byo kubi. Stand next to a sick man and a man will be here. Ngai mira kumbi no mulado mulado nnangona. Why? Twachi. Because they must have the act. Kubanga yiga echikolo. Of being inseparable with him in his presence. Echo kubanga tetasoto sobola kumwao ulako katonda mukubera okwe. When the man understands this life. This thing continues to increase. Chino che yongera okwana kirira ko no kwe yongera yongera. This is the only thing that will affect the borders and limitations that you carry in your ministry. Chicho kati gendo kosa ensalo salo zone komori go ina kwere. Man come and pray on Sunday. Oinzo tata amuntu kwira kwa salo asanda. Can make a man come pray on Sunday. Nele chinzo kumuwa lo ne kuleta kwa Sunday. Oinzo tata passing by the road to come and Oinzo tata amuntu aita ku lugudo ku jano. Oinzo tata cause a man to hear your voice and enter into the building. Jamu lize double zero chimuwa lo ku leta wo. Oinzo tata amuntu kugula CD. 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 Oinzo tata amunt
stand and say, I need to wash. And enter is shopping by your spirit. Why? Because your areas of influence have yielded enough to the union of the Spirit of God. You have learned that act of what it means to pray. Why? Because remember, it is your closet. It is your door. He says when you stand praying, it means you will have a place where you have multitudes of people like all of us are going to pray. All of us are going to pray. But I love that every man has their own closet. Every man has their own door. I've seen little people build closets in their rooms. You understand? Oh, if they don't go to a mountain, they won't hear. Listen. Whether you're on a mountain or you're nowhere, you, you, you have not even gone a quarter of where Jiffini went. You have not even done a half of what Charles John Gillex did. You learn from the men who did it and you learn how they did it. I'm not saying they don't have moments with prayer. No, they do have moments with God. They have moments everywhere. I also have moments with God. But those are my secret moments with God. No, God ought to even know when I pray for 24 hours. Unless I want to rewind. Am I making sense? But I've realized this one thing. When you enter into the presence of God to pray, get into the spirit. It doesn't matter how many millions are there. Lock yourself in. We've got it home. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Lock yourself in. We've got it home. I've seen people who pray about who is wearing what, who is putting on what, who has what hair, who's no, 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 so, now, this seems physical. But get the spirit and feel it. Because no one can explain it. Get in, get in. Close your closet. Shut your door. Because when you shut door and lock yourself in the closet, the ultimate is God. God is with every man who has learned how to close their doors. This is you and God. Magic is sometimes is not the contribution to a man's prayer. In fact, we don't sometimes will tell people, leave me alone. Why? Because sometimes there are certain men who you lock yourself in with and you realize they don't pray at the same tenacity that you see. When a man, now, I used to mention a word called yielding to the spirit. But many people understand this in a very carnal way to only imagine God. That's not what I'm talking about. Just change your get up. Yielding to the spirit is not imagining God. Yielding to the spirit is not necessarily giving yourself wholly to God. No, 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 no. 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 The language of yielding yourself to the Spirit of Almighty God is how God can teach a man's spirit to have only one divinely. One divinely focused life. It's so focused. That nothing around them can kill their attention. You know how many people pray with a million imaginations in their head? You know how many people can go in the presence of God with a million imaginations? Who is talking? By the way, that's that me. I have. Listen. 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 Listen.
umutawai no mubiri kokuna and so nimemeye when jesus gave up the ghost yes we are why you at the at the at the at the crucifixion what you get amo come the bible says he gave up his ghost he gave up his ghost he gave up his ghost now why you moyo father into thine hands i bequeath my spirit he gave up when, when jesus gave up the ghost yes we are why you moyo do you realize heaven open ozulante gloria gloria gurao Do you realize it was so easy for everything around to be changed? At that particular point Jesus could not think. John is hungry. Uh-uh. Oh, Pilate abused me. Oh, that big guy with big eyes spat at me. No. When a man learns the life of teaching their spirit. To regard anything insignificant okubanga byonebe nabira bange ebitalimu but Christ wobula Kristo yekanga yewama kulu but that man learns to lock that spiritual closet omuntu ayiko kugala okufoje chokubira mwe tomoyo olujiru olwomoyo you realize that is only the place where the spirits go it will never work with souls and, and bodies chechemeyo weji genda tikola ganda nemme na mukuru but that a man starts crying but banga chikwera mu chipete echememe omuntu atakoka because it had too much experience in the spirit for his soul not to respond for his body not to respond but i know many of you nyomo yo kwa komoyo gane nemme kibya nokula not part now because something touched him and it went through it his soul and into his spirit but rather it was in his spirit actually became too overwhelming into the man's soul and and that is the inside out the outside in of a munda ngachipuli masiku babweru obalanga chingira munda ama me concern nkola makuru na let me say this thing and the great change no because some of you now understand where we go waka tawo mutegera waje tulaga there is a place in god what we chipomo katonda and i realize that not many men have met Yani nzula nta wanda wanti bana chizule chikacho. Sam can look there. Abamba inzo kula bayo. And it or can experience the results of there. Baba inzo kumanya okuno manyi bwe bale riva ye. Ni bana baye. Like the guys in 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 the Old Testament. Zinga abantu bo munda. Where the priest burns incense to the holy of holies. Ngana bayo ayo to bane. That permits the holy place and comes in the outer court. Obana bone ku jobe ku jobe ku. Ama ku jobe. Outer court is smelling incense like the priest is. Olujo olujo lewe ruli ruli kanga ku lunyo akaba obane nga munda akaba na bawulira. But they are not in the holy of holies. Nenga tepo bana bali bwe ku mulujja tebali awatuku bawatuku. Are they incense representing the anointing they can experience the anointing. Nyato bwane buchikira mafuta bainso baso okuya mafuta experience the glory baso okuwira ne ne baula kuchitibwe echo feel the presence baso okuwira kuberawo kuna that is only shortly now bla kubera kwa kasera why because it's in the holy of holies you are kubanga tili tili awatukuba watukuba now how do you know those kinds of life omanya bla mo obla mo bomanyo you look at men who only know how to respond when they know the spirit is there olaba abantu amanyenge yo kwanu kulango mwali men can prophesy under the anointing aba basolo kulagula once wa makuta they can heal under the anointing basolo kuonya once wa makuta they can preach under the anointing basolo kubulira once wa makuta they are a sick a place how to go back to that place where they can conquer their spirit they can appeal to their spirit enough to heal for the presence of god baje kana ngamfe chokubanga bama basinikizo moyo kwa kubanga gwe wayo nyiro mwe mwe wakatonda life can never step to them places in the spirit because their lives are not constantly responding to the spirit of god they are not constantly responding to what places they discovered and i'll tell you more about those men are usually out of court abata basinga babera mulujja ebweru we abantu bwe batyo abasinga because they respond when they smell it kubanga abantu kulanga bawunyiriza bawunyiriza they respond when they smell it Bano kulanga baunyiriza kwa wa. Christ in the holy of holies. Neka bwana mwatukuba watuko. This place is not that. That 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 he can burn asoro kocha obanu anyway i want mongeri yo na any time it's our yo na he doesn't wait for the burning tarinda tarinda kubane uh-uh. bliko banga bochi bokuluma he can burn any time asoro kocha bliko yo na he can set it any time asokole zana ye era that man's life at the end reflect the life of a man bula gobalambo mtu 
can set it for others to respond. That kind of man doesn't wait for the anointing. He is the very guy who knows how to release the anointing. That kind of man can release it anytime. Anywhere. Any place. Why? Because he has the fire. He has the authority. A place of a priest. his mantle. And the easel. That kind of man doesn't wait for Saturday. Saturday first praise and worship and for the prince of God to come. When that man enters, you feel something change. When that kind of minister worships, it doesn't matter how many people have good voices. When they get the mic, you know they've got it. That kind of minister preaches. It doesn't matter how many preachers have preached. When he gets the mic, his distinctions are clear. The even the things that don't have light have distinction. The pipe is different from the trumpet. They carry distinction. How about you? God has given you a grace to carry very distinctive sounds by the Spirit. And because your distinctive sounds by the Spirit, these are only sounds that can be sounded by the Spirit. Even in your silence, you can still cause sounds. Even in your silence, you can still cause that if you enter a building, even if you enter quietly and sit in the back, that kind of life doesn't go to prayer mountain to seek the anointing. That kind of life goes to prayer mountain because they are divinely purposed. They are divinely led there. They don't seek men to see them. But the Lord always openly rewards them. And and as as knowledge increases in men's life. As men learn to yield to this thing. I realize that's when I met a place in God. Where a man can set his life. With a grace that can keep it burning. And that's when now I realized that the wisdom of the priest was under the priesthood that they carried. God wants to say that you carry the glory that does not diminish. That doesn't die like Moses. God means he can take it to a place in the knowledge where you can set something that can never matter. That man will never go back in the presence to burn again. Why? Because the He can live a very perfect life outside. But with an ever increasing burning in the east. Because the man stops to think that the dimensions and limitations of his prayer are on the soul and the body. And a man gets to a point where the body and soul can't go. It's only the spirit. And that man's spirit lands by this wisdom how to easily yield and minister to God and God ministering back to the man. When I got in those instances, sometimes I can be seated on my bed and just an impression of the Spirit is too overwhelming to my soul and gets into my body and I start to feel like I'm crying. Now, the average guy thinks the presence of God is here. But the guy in the closet just felt something imparted inside his spirit. 
Now Lord Muntu Ali Mutsenge Chokusabira Muyaba Tege Antu Walue Chiteke Dua Te Moyo Why? Because this morning he has been enjoying a communion with Almighty God But because he is doing on the desk and working as a banker You think he's not praying Why? Because you're only one dimension You don't know how spirit is going to God Yes, not all of you are going to go full time. Not all of you are going to preach every time. You know, none of you are going to be on the pulpit. But all of us are close to that line. Why, even if you are at your workplace, you just stand next to a man. And your feet something about you will tell them there's something about you that kind of man doesn't first speak of how many times and prayers he has gone to the mountain that man can just say praise God and you feel you just feel Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。Jesus。
easily aligned with the call of God upon his life. Yeah, always in the right place at the right time. You know, you know, but because these are pangs of men responding to divine will. You realize it cannot have a place of men to see them. Now let me ask you something. Why? Because in the first place men can't go there. You cannot see God and live. There's a bit of you that if it should see God there, there, there must be a dead person. But many men are not that dead. Now I think that they are not because they have learned to be so alive in the world. And all you ever seek is to please men. And men to know that you pray. Because that's your reward. That's when sometimes men reach places in God and they realize they never even knew how to pray. So I told them if you should pray, pray in this manner, not this prayer, but in this manner. So I told them pray, pray in this manner, not this prayer, but in this manner. Ah, Father. Ah, Father. Which is your will. 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 Which is Father, heavenly place. Before they came to ask indulgence, they did not begin with ask indulgence. They don't begin slowly until the temple raises for them to vibrate. They begin from so often. Why? Because they are perfections in Christ Jesus. And that knowledge in Christ has taught men that he cannot live to make intercession and die in him and cannot make intercession. That kind of man cannot be told pray for the church. That's why you know which realms men function. That kind of life takes a man to pray. To pray for another or anybody else in church before anybody even mentions the thing. That life can't criticize a fallen minister. That life sees a minister before they fall and they pray them out. That life sees a minister then there are open manifestations mm -hmm. of which the Lord shows as the reward to that ministry. Why? Because the camp sometimes are not of places for men to hide with God. Sometimes the camps are places of ignorant men who don't know there is another 7,000 that has not bound but cannot be seen anywhere. And Elijah needed that wisdom. Because at the point when he thought he was the Lord's prophet, he realized that this man in the hiding, could see him like they are bowing to burn. And he realized that this man in the hiding, could see him like they are bowing to burn. But they are actually so hidden. 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 But they don't bow to burn. But they are actually so hidden. The world would think they were bound to burn. And see, Jacob doesn't even know they're bound. And now Elijah moves out with that conviction. He is now full of no matter what. They've killed all the prophets. But now, 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 they've got to go. I'm the only one left. Then they cast God there. But Elijah never asked him. Neri yate yebuza. How come he was too busy? Did you know Neri yada be kanyo? That's why I have this for you. They want to be akabu akuyigan. That's why they want to kill you. They want to be akabu kuta. That's why you flee in fear. Because your places, wange before you, of dwelling are so hard. If you are not by wild vindication, that spiritual substances in you, 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 that spiritual is the kind who danger can look for and fail to find. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why? Because he has had that place in God. Why?
Buna kwa sasa suru mwenye ya mwuru Namu vya kwa na bi ministers tomorrow Kwa mwuru kena kwela wawele zoro encha You're not just going to build a big church Toke na kuzimba kwela wawele zimba kanisa nene They just don't happen They mana kabira wawezi wewe bicho You're not just going to be the greatest worshiper Toke na kwela wawezi musinza singa wawona It's not going to be that way You're not just going to be the greatest prophet of all time You're not just going to be the greatest prophet of all time Toke na kwela na pia singa wawona wawezi sera vyo na These things just don't happen Because these are rankings in God. As long as rankings can only be understood, it's not going to be easy. 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 It's not going to be It will never find its divine blessing and, and destiny. People who come in your life will only want to be with you because they want something on you. And when they get it, they will leave. But when your conversations are all at straight and up square, even when people leave, there are certain men who will never leave. They might hate you, but they will never leave you. They might find you indifferent, but they might never leave you. They might have issues, but they will never leave you. They will have issues, but they will stay coming. Why? Because they feel something about you that realigns them to their causes of destiny. That kind of minister like Paul imparts into something spiritual in a man that he might be realigned in the end that in the end he might be established the ministry of the spirit draws end lines of men's lives not the beginning that is a place where a man can see the star in you before anybody sees you that is the place where a man can see a prophet in you before anybody sees that is why some of you have been endured even when you became funny we still believed in you but because we observed the end of your conversation when, the, when Paul speaks and says he to those people who rule over you observing the end of their conversation he's not talking about the last word they said before they leave the book no he's talking about the end of destiny and the vision of God upon their life and about the end of destiny and how it articulately comes into your life and how it articulately comes into your life what makes you the minister you are what takes you to a place in God where you can hear so vivid yet it began with you locking your closet on your door when you are locked there and you learn the art of that you are not going to learn the art of that you realize that behind clothes there were men of like mind and that's where true communion is and when they are talking about the spirits of just men met power they could not be, be men it could, only be, it could not be a man it could be men now I'm finishing this that life in God will guarantee an increase in the anointing of God upon your life because you don't like to burn out you don't like to burn out you don't smell the heat you can burn it any time but you don't like to burn out you can burn it any time you can burn it any time that is different so the lights are high you realize for the teaching you just needed a few signs of demonstration and the few demonstrations he had with almighty God were only the experiences of elements fire wind and God was not in all that and Paul walks that very life and tells you 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 why are those living in the world are you subject to this element that's a wild minister that's a wild minister 
but Daniel is too invisible to even be thrown in fire. Daniel is too invisible to even be thrown in fire. There is a difference. So you might praise Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego for having come out without a band. Because there was a first man with them. But they said, that's why even when Daniel was named Belteshazzar, that name refused to stick. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego named Star. Even if they were children born of God and from another, from the tribe of God, they they still carried the name of a name wrong on them. Yet they were different. Name different. But even when Daniel was given this birthday, you know, they were given this birthday. You know, they were given this birthday. No, he didn't reveal. He, he, it couldn't stick on him. It couldn't stick on him. Now I know that at first people, some people preach the sin for someone that what are they with engine in your gonyo? Daniel refused the king's meat. Daniel ya gana emere ya kabak. So don't eat the world limit. Itole nyama ya asu. That's okay for a beginner. Echo te china mu zibiri omuntu atandika. But there's a deeper message in this. Now all of what ko bwe ziba nyo muchino. Because refusing the king's meat was not necessarily a guarantee that he would be healthier than them all. Absolutely, people refused the worldly meat and they became broke and sick and beggarly and faint. The mere fact that you didn't still die means you'll be rich. The mere fact that you didn't still die means you'll be rich. The mere fact that you kept yourself so straight doesn't mean that you'll get married so quick. The mere fact that you kept yourself so straight doesn't mean that you'll get married so quick. I've seen prostitutes born again and getting married. Why? Because the rest of the world the rest is not to the sickness or the battles of the strong. That chance happens to them all. And they never realize that that chance was their response by the Spirit. Now we're living in a body. Now we're living in a body. Now we're living in a body. That has been so deceived. That what men call prayer is what they do so then so that men see them pray. We no longer live in places. Many of us, where we don't see men. Where we prove of our life. Our communion is with God. 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 To be so yielded to the ghost. Our communion is with God. Our communion is with God. Commune with the ghost. Pray in the spirit and everywhere. Because everywhere means everywhere. 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 The Greek word is everywhere. The everywhere experience means that no prayer will ever be begun in the canon. Every prayer will be unctioned by the Spirit. And you realize that the difference between those who pretend to have longer hours than you. The difference between them and you is. You will be praying and you will pray very long. 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 That actually it will shock you that you are there. That long. Because the pretense guy prays counting the hours. The man in the spirit is too eternally displaced. That time is a lower dimension. They are beyond the realms of time. Time is not a time. Doesn't have time in it. It is so not. Time 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 is so not. And you don't know what happened between ten and six. But all you remember is you were praying over. Over there, God just took it down. What's the matter? That man has learned to pray. Now we are going to learn to pray. That man has learned to pray. Now when you learn that line, 
Waigo bila mobo. Then God teaches you how to be sober. Nenda kwa kiki zo kupela obindala. Find you there. Nga jori. But the instances it will be too much. Nyo lewe chijo kupela chinji nyonga chiti. That you can't help to be unsober. Nyo sobo la kupela onga. Like when they are, are divinely orchestrated. Not humanly planned. Not humanly formulated. When a man lands that secret place, God will always prove you okay. You will always prove you right. He will always prove your ministry. He will prove your prophecy. He will prove your prayer. He will prove your fast. He will prove your sin. The question is how many of you are there? Or you have just mastered and you think of prayer. Well, if it's prayer, why don't you have results? Haven't you prayed long enough? Don't you see that even the cave prophet has wisdom enough to tell Baal, Baal, you pray until you cry. You, 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 you pray, 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 pray to come until you cry. And cave guy, not even among the 7,000, but even a cave guy has but God wants to take us above the cave. Okay. He wants to take you so hidden in him. That whether you bow to Baal or you did, no man will tell. That you live that life today. In to judge. Whether you pray or But your results will not be denied. In fact, God will validate you. Himself will tell those men There, there, he's there You just don't know he's here God teach you a perfect way to pray The presence of God will increase in your life To magnitudes And people won't even be able to stand where you are why? Because you easily flip them to another world. Because your spirit world is getting more open to their feasts. When you meet a man with devils, it will be devils being introduced to another realm. They can't become devils. They will speak before you speak. They will speak before you speak. No theology school can take you there. Even the ministers of Christ, we can only point there. And you choose to go. Speak to God. Speak to God.